the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. All right, so this could be um, for the entire recent month here, uh, the beginning of the month to now uh, prior energies. Um, this is the Page of Pentacles here. There's some kind of lack of focus. There's a lack of a new beginning. There's a lack of uh, ability to want to bring something forward or accept something, an offer. So there's a lack of an uh, acceptance here, whether it be you um, not accepting something um, that's being offered to you or you just really not wanting to take it within yourself to focus and uh, concentrate on starting something brand new or starting some kind of new finance op financial opportunity it could be work related it could also be um, school related it also could be some kind of uh, in relation to one of those things as well okay the center of the deck we have is the beautiful ten of cups super happy 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 uh, happiness here. This is fulfillment in relationship and love. Uh, it's also fulfillment in, um, it could be anything that you love and enjoy that brings you complete, uh, happiness and, uh, feeling that you're able to obtain everything that you need and want in this very moment. So some of you guys are going to be really feeling that this week here, um, the end of this month. So we have the nine of, uh, nine of wands um and this is in your recent past possibly for some of you um there's been a lot of uh work that you've been doing putting putting time energy and um action into achieving success there's been a lot of work a lot of hard work a lot of energy a lot of time you've achieved one thing after another so maybe this is the uh, past energy. Yes, it is past energy. Now I think you guys are somehow reaping the rewards. You have re probably completed a long process for some of you. Could have been just a month or years. You've completed some kind of long process of really, really um, making it through, making it through all the hard times and obstacles and challenges that have been put upon you. And you may be really feeling happy at this point. You might be able to take a break. Yes, and we have the Ten of Swords uh, coming in, which is some kind of recovery, um, a recovery of a bad time or bad situations uh, or multiple situations that have accumulated um, that created some kind of uh, exhaustion possibly or um, low energy within you, yourself, or somebody around you or in the situation. It's like you're, this is the month, uh, last week part here, that you are you recover you're recovering and getting away from any kind of deceptions and um, issues you've had in your past that have really drained you emotionally thought it within your mind. This is a very mind energy, and um, it's an it, it's it's a lot, it's a lot about uh, thoughts and um, your mind uh, spinning thinking. Uh, things that mind games that maybe people have done for, to shoot towards you. This is recovery. Taurus, you might be recovering. You might be feeling a lightness now within your mind. And you also might be feeling it physically. You might be feeling a lot more energy physically. You might be feeling more alive. Uh, you're starting to feel this beautiful fulfillment and happiness, this beautiful energy right now. What's crossing you is the page of cups. This could be a younger person within your life, male or female. This is also, this is a most this is usually a water sign, uh, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And um, this is somebody who's just really loving, uh, wanting to begin a friendship. Possibly, if you don't know this person, you're just meeting them. Um, this could be you, Taurus, um, wanting to begin the start start the beginning of a friendship. Or um, this is somebody within your life, a child or a, a friend. Um, anybody within your life that's coming forward now to um, be there for you, listen to you, be there for you. This is a very caring person. We have the emperor here, and this is your advice. This is what uh, it's you should be paying attention to this week. Uh, the emperor here is here. Uh, this is somebody who's very, 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 very 
wise. They can achieve. They have so much success. They're leaders, born leaders. You know, this could be an Aries you're dealing with. Um, this could be you, you just feeling Taurus like you are now the emperor, the ruler. This is a ruler. This is somebody who can rule a company. They can rule a corporation. They can rule their own business. Um, they have control over their life or, or work or whatever this is for you. Um, and this person could be coming into your life at this point. Um, you may be dealing with this person. They may be giving you this new friendship even. Um, or the beginning of a friendship in some way. Usually this emperor is not an emotional person, but yes, of course this person could be deaf. We all have emotions, uh, but typically this is a very a business person, a very wise person. But this is could be the person that's coming in for some of you, a lot of you actually. I do feel this is a lot for a lot of you. Um, it's the beginning of a relationship with this person or some kind of uh, help. Uh, this person could be coming in offering you a position within a company or helping you become a leader in some way, shape or form. If not you Taurus, this person is here for you to help you. Uh, it's telling you and advising you to listen to this person. Maybe you're going to get some guidance from this person. This could even be a family member. We have the four of swords in reverse. And this is telling me that Taurus, you need to get out of your mind. It, it's telling me that you need a break. Your mind is just spinning or st you're, you're stressed out in thought. You're stressed out uh, about something within your mind. Uh, thinking too much, working too much within that area. Um, I see that you will be recovering from that, taking a, like your mind will be at peace, but I feel that some of you are having some kind of stress here. And... Um, Again, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse, which tells me that you're you're recovering from a time where your mind was a little, a lot very stressed out. So definitely for those of you that are still holding on to some stress or you're overthinking stuff or working too much, uh, it's time. It's, it's definitely uh, advice that you do need to take some time right now because you're getting the Ten of Cups. So um, and a friendship here, somebody that might be helping you achieve this fulfillment it's here for you to have so it looks like you have a lot going for you wow we even have the king of wands here you may be seeing your situation as you're taking action um you're becoming the leader in your life you're you're starting to see success you are you have a passion and a drive and a, and a desire to be successful to be grounded this is you're feeling grounded i think at this point taurus you're feeling grounded and you're feeling successful and you're feeling really happy and you're, you have friends or some kind of uh, support here. These are great cards. If it's not you, Taurus, this is a, this is a, a fire sign. This is an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. So this could be the same person. You, Taurus, could be this this energy. You could be taking this energy on once you get out of your head. For those of you that are still stuck in your head. Um, and that for some of you, being stuck in your head too much and stressed out, it may be stopping you from accepting a new offer, a new beginning, um, a new path in your life that have to, has to do with finances. A, be, maybe it's a small beginning, but it will turn into something larger down the way. Um, maybe some of you guys are thinking too much about this. Uh, and, uh, you know, others of, uh, others of you are taking action. Um, people, places, and things around you and you're within your environment. We have the hermit. And this is a Virgo usually, or it could be. Uh, it doesn't have to be a Virgo. Um, but this is this very... A beautiful card of somebody within you, around you, or you are just dis disconnecting from people, places, and things, your environment. You, this is somebody who's taking time and really focusing on themselves. They're not really socializing and taking act. Um, they're not really socializing. They're being alone to really consider what it is that they want, where their life is taking them, what path they should go on. Um, just get some little bit of an insight. So I think somebody around you could also be doing that, taking some time out um, 
within your environment to get some clarity on something. So we have the Four of Cups in reverse. This is in your hopes and fears. Some of you guys are starting to see uh, a new way of seeing your life or your situation um, where you're starting to be grateful. You're having gratitude. You're starting to see blessings. You're starting to see options, um, friendships, uh, emotional happiness that you did not see before. You're starting to maybe see opportunity around you. So it's almost like recovering from a time of being stagnant to, to a time where you're seeing a lot of opportunity. And the outcome card is the tower in reverse, which is an excellent card. It tells me that you guys have been through this. You may have been through the Ten of Swords and the Tower, but because they're both in reverse, you're now recovering from it. So maybe in the beginning of this month of May, you have had um, some, some surprises, some humbling experiences, things that have made you humble in your life, some things that you've really had to look at and um, that have caused you a lot of stress, exhaustion, and exhaustion within your situation. Um, and it's now... By the end of this month or this week here, you guys are really recovering. You're really starting to be see it almost as a blessing what you've been through um, because you're seeing things now in a different light. I see that for a lot of you. You're starting to see things you didn't see before because you were probably too overwhelmed in this energy. There's some kind of major change, uh, transformation that's been going on in your life. And um, this week is the time where you're going to start seeing these beautiful energies support with emotions, emotional freedom and happiness, um, success, ownership, uh, maybe owning a business or being part of a beautiful, wonderful business that's thriving with a new, um, possibly, um, this could be an employer or business partner, or just even a family member that has a lot of knowledge to help you with, um, and take action, passion and being successful. Also being very confident Taurus. There's some confidence here you've done a lot of work you've been doing a lot of work okay maybe you hadn't seen the results yet uh this is it you're getting it you're getting results you're getting changes this week is great for you and um you're blessed you're feeling blessed you guys there's opportunity all around you okay um just you know don't be stressed don't let any of this past energy uh, anything that's from your past that, uh, don't let it stress you out because you're, 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 um, this energy is changing. It's transforming. Your life is tra transforming into something. Um, I'm really curious to see what your, what, what your June reading is because this is really good. Um, you're on your way to happiness, fulfillment and success. Um, and it's a new f uh, mindset for some of you. Definitely, definitely new mindset. All right, Taurus. So what is the last card we have for you for this month of May? Go outside. You have been indoors too long. Go outside and get some fresh air. So if this was you, being the hermit and staying um, recluse, being a recluse, not uh, maybe you see some of you guys have been really stressed out, I see. And doing a lot of work. I, it's, this is telling me, guys, if you are seeking answers, yes, definitely a good thing you went within, um, but also go outside, get some fresh air. Um, enjoy the sun and the flowers that are blooming right now. Take walks, go to the beach, go to the woods, go to the parks. Um, enjoy. It's a holiday weekend, too, I think. Yeah, Memorial Day here. So get outside, have fun. And, um, you guys are really, really got some good stuff going for you. 